This is a complete web design workflow for a freelance designer or a design agency. I want to show you exactly how the project starts and how you deliver it finally to the client. So everything starts off with ZipWP. Now this platform is very important because this is where you can set up all your websites, send your clients all the links and so on. So let's dive in and let's log in. So I already have an account and all the links I'll be talking about are all going to be in the video description below. All right, so I'm over here on ZipWP. All I need to do is to log in. And I already have an account as I mentioned. And so far I have 11 out of 20 websites on my account. So the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new website. So we're gonna come over here and say create new and this is going to be blank. So I want to start this from right from the beginning. Okay. So here we want to give the site a name. So I'm just going to call this um, Mac design. But of course you can name it whatever you want. In this case, this will be your client's name or uh, someone who you're working with as uh, name in there so that it's easier to find. Next, you want to click on create site. Okay, so this is going to take, in fact, it's already done. <laughs> My website is already uh, ready. So now I can say one click login. So if I do that, this now is going to open in the new tab and pretty much I'm ready with a blank WordPress install. So as you can see, this is pure WordPress. There's nothing else installed here. And here's the name of the site. It's called Mac Design. So if I open this in a new tab, you will notice that, yes, sure enough, this is a blank WordPress website. So the next thing we need to do now is to uh, just clear this up a little bit. So first of all, I like just clearing this dashboard, making sure there's nothing over here. So I'm just going to go in and disable pretty much everything. Okay, so now that I've disabled everything, the next stage, of course, is installing Divi. So this is where we would come over here. Now, I've already gone in and logged into uh, my Divi membership site. Next, I'm going to click on download the DV theme. Okay, so while that is downloading, I want to come back over here to my site and then go to appearance and then click on themes. Okay, so I can see in the top right, my download has uh, completed. So now I can go ahead and click on add new theme. And now I can now upload the theme, choose file. It's going to be, oh, right here. Double click on that and then click on install now. Okay, so Divi now is being installed and we are still on the ZipWP platform. So let's say once this website is done, we want to show our client so far what has been going on. This is where in a moment I'll show you. You want to come over here and copy this URL here like that. And that's the URL that you'd email the client. So let's first of all activate this. Okay, so now Divi is active and this is the default URL that we're given. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to uh, view the site just to see if Divi has been installed and sure enough it has. So remember I said if you wanted to share the progress of the web design you would come over here, copy that whole link like that and that's the link you'll email. Now, let me just open this in a new uh, incognito window so I can just show you that pretty much this is the site. Okay, so this is what the clients the client would see. They would see a website that you are working on. And if they have the URL, they can pretty much check on and see how much work is being done on the site. So this is what makes it really, really cool. Now, I know at this point you're probably saying, well, what if I have local and develop everything on my local machine? Yes, you can, and I've been using this uh, method for a very long time, but you cannot send a preview link for your client to see. In fact, there's a bit of tweaking here or there in local, uh, in, the, in the local software, but this is way much easier. Okay, so let's say now it's time to start customizing our website. I'll come over here back to my dashboard, and then I would go in, appearance, uh, menus, I can start uh, fixing my menus here. So let's say I add my main menu. I'll assign it to my primary menu over here and then create the menu. Next, I would come over here to Divi, go to theme options. 
and over here is where I would go in, add my colors and so on. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to use Divi itself. Okay. This is a tutorial just to show you the workflow. So let's pretend that our website is complete and we are now ready to ship it over to the client's server. Because remember, this is sitting on ZipWP and it is right here. If I go to staging sites, this is the list of all the websites I am working on. And these could be all my clients. So all these could be all my clients. Okay. So this is the current website right here. So let's say in your team, you are working with um, collaborators. So what you would do is you would come over here. Now, do you see where we have uh, my account? I would come over here to my account. Scroll all the way down here. So first of all, I would set up all my notifications just to make sure everything is uh, that is happening on my uh, site is uh, pretty much working. I can also set my branded URL here if I wanted to. Now, this is obviously in conjunction with my design agency. So I would come over here and link it all up because right now I have these uh, made up uh, URLs on my site. Okay, so what I could also do here is Let's go to the site itself. Let's head over back here to my staging sites. Okay, so first of all, we have projects. I need to mention this uh, to before I show you the next uh, thing. I want to show you about ZipWP. So over here, say we have our projects. So this is where I can uh, separate all my projects into different categories. So here I have max size. I can create a new project here. I can say um, fitness clients, for example. And then say create project. So now I, as I'm designing my websites, I can assign them onto these projects right here. Okay. So let's say we come back over here to our staging sites. I can say add to project, and then I can add this to the fitness clients. Okay. Do you see how easy that is? So now I can organize everything really, really cool. All right, so let's say I have a team that I'm working with and I'd like to collaborate on this particular project. So this, this is what you do. So first of all, it's going to depend on the package that you choose on ZipWP. So in my case here, if I go to see more, you can see that I have up to 10 team members and uh, so far I have one out of 10. But if I need to upgrade, I would come over here and upgrade. All right, so the next step now is to head over here to the top uh, max team. If I click over here, it's going to show me that this is Max team. I can click on manage. And then now here is where I can start inviting my team members. So I can come over here add the email. And here I can specify the role, whether they're a member or the owner. But of course, it's going to be a member here. And then I'll say invite. So once I do that, they're going to be invited now onto my platform. OK, so let's pretend the whole website now is complete. We are now ready to put this website on the client's server. How would you do that? Well, I have something really cool to show you. So I'll come over here now on our site and let's head over to our plugins and then click on add new plugin. Now there's a plugin that I use, which is awesome. Okay. This is flawless. In fact, I use this to you to move different websites over and over and over again. And it has never given me an error. All right, so I'll come over here to search plugins. It's called WP Vivid. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on install now. And you can see here it's a half a million installs. Okay, this is fantastic and it's got five stars. All right, so let's go ahead now and activate. All right, so now that is activated, the first thing we need to do here is to create a backup. Now, notice that I haven't clicked anything. I just need to click a backup just like that. And now you can see it's backing up. Next, I want to now head over to let's pretend that this is the client's server. OK, this is their hosting platform. So this is a service that I also use to host my website. So I'm going to come over here and click on install new WordPress website. So this now is where I need to, let's say new client. Okay. Let's just call ourselves new client. Okay. And I'm going to say go live 
And here for my domain name, I'm just going to call this uh, new site. Okay, and enable multi-site. No, I don't want to do that. I don't need to verify my DNS for now. And then I am going to click on next. Hopefully I won't have any errors here because I've skipped up, skipped a lot of things. Is it working? Oops. Okay, let's go with demo site, okay? Because that's not a real domain. All right, so let's go ahead now. Okay, so it looks like WordPress now is setting up. So it's very, very important that this website we are creating on our client side is a blank WordPress website, okay? It's very, very important. So back over here now, it looks like everything is gone okay. And we now have our backup. So what I normally do is to just go ahead and download it just like that. Now, if you go for the pro version of WP Vivid, oh my goodness, it says so many features. You can even do a remote auto migration where you don't have to download things and do all sorts of things. It just does it automatically. But in this video, we're just using the free version. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on download. Or oh, did I download? Man, I talk too much. Anyway. I think I downloaded it, but something is happening here over here at the top. Okay, there we go. So now it's downloaded. Okay, great. Let's head over now to our server. So as you can see here, if we, if we, if we were trying to compare how fast it is to set up a WordPress website, you can see that ZipWP is super fast. In less than five seconds, you have a WordPress website. But if you were to do this on an actual server, it takes way longer. I mean, you can see here, it's taking a bit of time. But of course, this is the permanent residence of the website. So it's slightly different. Okay. So I'll let this uh, take shape. And while I close these tabs here. Okay. So our basic website looks like this over here. So this is how it needs to look like identically on my server okay let's check again so we're almost done now it's configuring okay so back here on zipwp i want to show you a few things if i go back to my dashboard here let's say you're you're done working on your website and pretty much the client has approved it you can always go in and delete it by coming over here or you can just click on this delete item here and that pretty much just deletes the, the site. So it's a very, very easy interface to use. Now over here, okay, it looks like we are ready. I'm going to come over here to my domains or back to sites. Okay, so this is now my brand new site. I'm going to click on magic login and I really like magic login, by the way, because copying and pasting passwords. Oh my goodness, that just drives me crazy. Okay. Um, as this is loading up, this is our brand new WordPress site. Let's just double check that by opening this in a new tab. All right, so you can see here, this is brand new, pretty cool. Okay, so now on this new site is where we need to install WP Vivid again or as well. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new plugin. I'm gonna search for WP Vivid. Okay, so the reason why we're doing this is because we want to import that file that we downloaded earlier on. So let's go ahead and install this. And we need to activate it as well. Okay, so that's all we need to do. So on both websites, we have WP Vivid. So on the website that I was working on, that's where I've compiled that website uh, downloaded it as a backup now on this new site on the new server which is where i am right now we need to do the opposite of what we did we need to upload the backup now okay so this is going to bring my complete website onto the new server okay so let's head over here to upload drop files here in fact i'll just click here to search for it and here it is okay now a quick way of knowing this is the actual um, download here you can see it has WP vivid in it okay just in case you have a lot of files on your downloads folder all right so I have that now I'm gonna click open 
and then click on upload. So this now is uploading onto my new server. And once it's uploaded on my new server now, I'm just going to activate it and pretty much I am good to go on with my new website. Okay, so we can see here that it says the upload was completed. I can now click on OK. So what we need to do now is to come over here and click on Restore. Okay, so once we do that, I'm going to come over here, click on Restore. It's asking me, are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. So in a moment, we are now going to see a website which has Divi. So this is what we have so far on the new site. Okay, remember we called it new client. So let's check, it's almost done. Now what I like about uh, WP Vivid is you don't get any errors. I mean, if you are moving a massive website and you start getting errors, database errors and so on, that will just pff, drive you crazy. All right, restore is complete. I'm gonna say, okay. Now, when we come on our site and refresh, we have our WordPress website. So this is the workflow. So you start off in ZipWP, you design all your websites, you send all your links to your different clients. And this works really well because if you have, let's say five clients or 10 clients you're working with, with at the same time, you are just sending all these links, okay? Your clients are seeing all these links, uh, you're discussing updates and so on. And once everything is ready, one by one, you just start, start moving the website onto the server using WP Vivid. Now remember, you need to install WP Vivid on your website that you're working on, on ZipWP. Now once, once you've installed it, you download a backup and download it onto your computer. Go on to the client server. Well, now once you're on the client server, make sure you install a blank WordPress website, install WP Vivid, and then import the download from your ZipWP site that you're working on. And pretty much you're good to go. Now this workflow is seamless and it is fantastic. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. What is your workflow? I'd like to know in the comments box below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.